Hi guys, Chris and Lodera are back again for another stroll through the wonderful world of Mario 64. Now, I do have a confession to make this week. I have been trying to get as much time in on this gem as possible, but I've been distracted by some, uh, whisper it, modding games. First one is near enough a constant in my life, and that is Destiny 2. This was a nightfall where we took down the box. In seconds, he dropped like a sack of spuds. Pretty proud of that one. I've also been playing some Ultimate Team in FIFA 19. Oosh, get in! Had to get my free kick replay in this video. And I've finally unlocked a decent player from the random reward packs. Without paying real world money for it, I was so excited, I was bouncing around the games room. I'm not supposed to cheer for Liverpool players, but Mo Salah is just that good. Finally, Resident Evil 2 Remake released on Xbox One, so I've been taking my first footsteps back through the main hall of the police station. So new, yet so familiar. On to Mario 64 now, and we pick up where I left off last time, uh, underwater level. Which was fun to start with, but I realised I was stuck in this sunken ship. I didn't seem to be able to get out the way I came in. I didn't know what to do. My oxygen timer was ticking down at all times. And there was one safe spot right at the end of the ship I just kept going back to, getting more oxygen, coming out, staying stuck until I finally realised that you had to open the treasure chest at the bottom in a certain order. So yeah, we moved past that. And now we're onto this timed puzzle where you have to get across the platforms before they disappear. So I'm really careful here. I want that red coin and I am sure I press the jump button but the game says no, I end up in the pool and I have to swim all the way back to the start to start all over again. That, however, is nothing compared to this bonus level. I'm in danger of falling out of love with this music. I know this bonus level so well. I pick up the extra lives every time I run it, and as you can see in the top of the screen, I'm up to 20 extra lives at the moment. This bit's all alright, this start bit, I was fine with this. Quickly worked out the best route to go. Found these rotating platforms, they were okay as well. I could just time jumps and I'd be fine. Just wait for it. And wait. And this seesaw is the seesaw of doom. Where I'm just desperate to get these red coins. So I managed that one and I run back for the second one. I get the coin, I drop all the way down and have to start all the way back at the start of this bonus level. Are you seeing a pattern here? Infuriating, absolutely infuriating, but I was not giving up and eventually I'd make it to the top. I was partying just as much as I was when I got Mo Seller at this point. 53 lives by the time I ended that. You can see how many times I ran that bonus level. You get maybe three or four bonus extra lives every time you run it. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you very much, Mario64. I will not be doing that again as long as I live. So I come back down, and I find this ghost. Sounds a bit like a monkey. Obviously if you follow it because, you know, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Some cheap humour there. Sounds like a circus going on in the background. But it really is quite creepy. Such a good job with the level design. You just got to admire Mario 64 for the sheer variety here. You know, we've gone from rotating platforms to 
like a carousel type thing with a huge daddy ghost at the back. After you've sat on him a few times, he gives you a star, so it's all good. See, even Mario's happy. So we'll bag that one and we'll move on to the next. Books flying across our library. Seems very familiar. <laughs> yeah, definitely familiar. Obviously wrong. Mario having difficulty pushing books into a wall. Yep, serious difficulty. We'll get there in the end though. That's my motto for Mario 64. We'll get there in the end. Another star well deserved there. I think I'll call it quits for this video. I'll see you guys next time. I'm not sure I've got time for another Mario video this month, but I will be back with a top 10 of my favourite N64 games, and I look forward to seeing you there. See you next time.